Hello, my name's Michelle Noonan from Divi Soup and in recipe 24 I'm going to show you how to add a transparent image overlay to a background video in Divi. For the blog post for this recipe and the accompanying CSS you can go to divisoup.com forward slash r24. For our ingredients we're going to need the Divi theme from Elegant Themes, a video to use for the background and you can get some great free to use videos at cover.co and an image to use as the overlay and the dimensions of 1920 by 1080 pixels is perfect for this because we're going to be creating a full screen header. This is going to take you about five minutes it's really not very difficult at all and for our preparation we're going to set up the section. So just before we create our header, what you see now is what we're going to create. So we've got a background video with a semi-transparent image overlay and some text and buttons on the top. We're actually going to do two of these. We've got this one first and then afterwards I'm going to show you how to create a second one which gives the text and the buttons some transparency and you'll see with the people walking in the background it creates quite a nice effect as it shows through the text. So if we head on over to the WordPress admin and the first thing you want to do is add a new page. Make sure you've got the Divi Builder enabled and then you want to add a full width section. You can remove the default section that Divi gives you and then insert a full width header module. Once you've done that, go into the section settings and in the background video MP4 field, we're going to click next to it, upload a video. So you want to upload a video to your media library and then select it as the background and save and exit. So that's our prep done, now time for the method. So open up the settings for the full width header module and you're going to want to add in your title subheading text and set your text color and your logo orientation. So I'm just going to add in my text I'm going to choose light text for this because I've got quite a dark um, image to go over the top and I'm going to put my text in the center. Now you're going to want to make it full screen and you can use this effect without using full screen it will work just fine it's just the full screen videos look quite good. You can add the scroll down button if you want to but I'm going to leave that off of this one and then if you want to add buttons then just add in your text and URLs and then if you want any more text on there then you can just scroll down to the content area and add what you want there. I'm just going to pop into the advanced design settings and I'm going to select quite a bold font for my title uh, because for the second effect we're going to use um, we need quite a bold font so I'm going to use Passion 1 and I'm going to take the font size up to 60 and I'm just going to increase the font size of the subheading as well and then once you've done that you want to head over to the custom CSS tab and you want to give your module a CSS class of ds-video-image-overlay1 and save and exit. Now we need to add our CSS. So I've got my CSS here and this is what we're going to add for the first effect. So what we're doing is we're using the before pseudo element to add an image to the full width header. What you'll need to do here is upload an image to the media library and replace the URL here with the URL of your image. Then what we're doing is we're absolutely positioning the image. We're giving it a top and left position of zero and we're making sure that the height and width is 
Then we're going to give it an opacity of 0.5, which gives it its transparency. So I'm going to take this CSS and you can paste this into your child theme style sheet, the Divi Options custom CSS box or the page specific CSS box. And I'm going to stick it in the page specific CSS box. So click save. And then if we go and preview our effect, you can see we've got our nice full screen header with our video background and a nice image overlay on top. So now I'm going to show you how to do the second effect. So we go back to the page. Everything is pretty much exactly the same as it is now. There's just two things we're going to change. So firstly, in our module, we're actually going to add the image to the module for this effect. So if you open up the full width header module settings and scroll down to the background image URL field and just click upload image and you're actually going to use the image from the media library and add it in here. Then what you're going to do is just go into the custom CSS tab and we're just going to change this from overlay one to overlay two and then save and exit. And we're just going to change the CSS slightly. So if we go back into the code editor, this second snippet of CSS is what we're going to use for this effect. And all we're doing is we're making the entire header semi-transparent with opacity at 0.5. So if we copy this CSS now, and we're going to go back and put it back in the page specific CSS box. So I'm going to take out what's there and add in the new CSS and then preview again. So here you can see we've got the same video with the background image overlay, but our text and our buttons are semi-transparent. So you can see what's going on in the video through the text. And I think that creates quite a nice effect if you've got video with quite a lot of animation going on. And that's it. So for the accompanying blog post for this recipe, head on over to divisuit.com forward slash R24. Right at the bottom of the post, there's an orange box where you can get access to the layouts for both of these effects. And you can also sign up to my newsletter to receive all of my recipes straight to your inbox. Thanks for watching.